Hi, my name is Dr. Suzanne Slayton Milam. I'm with Cascadia Women's Clinic in Vancouver, Washington. The topic you have selected is vaginal yeast infection. This is a very common disorder. Most women of childbearing age at some point will have at least one vaginal yeast infection. We all know that this can be very difficult on a weekend or when we're out traveling. Vulvovaginal candidiasis represents 20% of all vaginal infections. Symptoms include a viscous or thick vaginal discharge that is not associated with odor. Patients also may have itching and redness or burning. Discharge may adhere to the vaginal walls and may be clumpy to the patient. pH testing generally ranges from four to five. There are a number of prescription and over-the-counter regimens for treatment. This may be vaginal preparations such as creams or suppositories. They also vary in duration of treatment from one to seven days. Oral preparations are also available from your physician. These may also be used for more chronic yeast infections. Liver function tests should be obtained at the beginning of treatment and monitored monthly if chronic treatment is prescribed because of the risk of liver toxicity. Numerous repeated infections or chronic infections may be a sign of a more serious medical condition such as diabetes mellitus or HIV. Remember that you should communicate symptoms and treatments with your physician regularly for optimal care.